Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering video. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about some of the important or basic knowledge of the civil engineering. So here are some of the important things that I want to discuss here in this lecture. So the first one is that the minimum minimum thickness of slab should be equal to the to the 125 millimeter or we can say 12.5 mill centimeter so this is the minimum thickness of the slab so if i explain this thing for example this is in a slab so if i draw it in 3d so this is my slab element so its minimum thickness of the slab h should be equal to the 125 millimeter or 12.5 centimeter so this is the first point. The second thing or the second point is the about the density of the cement. You should keep in mind that the density of cement is 1440 kilogram per cubic meter. You should remember this value by heart. The density of cement is 1440 kilogram per cubic meter. The third important thing is a is that the maximum that the maximum free fall of concrete is 1.5 meter now what does it mean so if I consider here for example this is my beam this is my beam and I want to pour the concrete here I bring the concrete here and I want to pour the concrete into this beam so my concrete will will come to the beam like in this way so so the minimum or the maximum here I describe the maximum height here the maximum free fall of concrete here so this is a maximum free fall of the concrete should be 1.5 meter we should not take the concrete into the beam of 2 meter or 3 meter so if we increase the height of the free fall then that means that there might be problem like segregation or the bleeding of the concrete in the beam so in order to avoid this problem of segregation and our bleeding, we must have to take care of the free fall height. So the free fall height of the concrete and construction should be not greater than the 1.5 meter. So the maximum free fall of concrete is 1.5 meter. Now the fourth one is the, the, the weight of 1 cement bag is 50 kg this is standard the one cement bag weight is always 50 kg and you should keep this in mind the fifth one is that the number of the standard bricks the number of the standard bricks in one cubic meter is always 500 in numbers so in one cubic meter we always have the standard bricks equal to 500 so there are 500 number of bricks in one cubic meter the sixth one is that the slope of the stairs should be should be in between should be in between 25 and 40 degree now what does it mean it means if I draw here, for example, this is my base level and I have here my stairs, for example, these are my stairs. So the angle, if I draw it here again, so, so these are my slope, so these are my slope of the stairs, so the slope of the, or the angle of the stairs should be between 25 degree and 40 degree because if we increase the value of the this angle then what happens then there might be difficulty in incline and the climbing to the top floor so the angle between the stairs and the bottom base should always be equal to in between 25 and 40 degree so this is a standard rule the seventh one is that the unit weight 
unit weight of steel can be found out by this formula d square by 162 and this gives you the value in kilogram per meter so how to find out the weight of the steel so if i consider here another example so for example this is my steel bar and for example the length the diameter of the steel bar is equal to the 12 millimeter and I know the formula for determining the unit weight of the steel in kilogram per meter is d square by 162 this is in kilogram per meter so if the diameter is 12 millimeter I just put the value here here so 12 square divided by 162 and I got here 0 0.88 kilogram per meter it means that the weight of this steel bar which is 12 diameter so its weight is 0.88 kilogram per meter similarly we can also multiply this 0 0.88 multiply with the 10 meter length of the bar so we will get the total weight of the steel bar if for example this is 10 meter length so we can multiply it with the 10 and we will got our value for example it comes out to be 8.8 .8 kilogram so this formula is used to find out the unit weight of the steel bar in kilogram per meter just put the diameter of the bar here in this formula you will find the weight of the steel bar in kilogram per meter and then if you want to know the total weight of the steel bar so multiply it with the length so for example here I got this value I multiplied with the length of my bar so I got my total weight of the steel bar which is of 12 millimeter diameter and the length of the bar is 10 meter so this was also one of the important thing to know in the last one I would I write it here about the lapping the, the lapping the, the, the lapping should not be provided for bars having diameter having diameter greater than the 36 now what does it mean millimeter if the diameter of the bar is greater than 36 then we should not do overlapping so if I explain this thing so for example consider this is in a bar and the diameter of this bar is greater than 36 millimeter so we should not do overlapping for this bar this is one bar this is another bar and we overlap this bar this is overlapping region so for the diameter for the diameter of the bar that is greater than 36 millimeter we should not do overlapping so this is the last standard which i discuss here that the lapping overlapping of the bars are only available are only applicable for the bars that are equal to 36 millimeter or less than 36 millimeter for this diameter of the bars we can do overlapping but for greater than 36 we cannot do overlapping of the steel bar so hope you guys understand the different or basics of the civil engineering i discussed only eight and there are hundreds of basic things that can be uh, that should be known in the civil engineering hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video